Hello, this is Chuck, and this is an overview of Unit 3 Lab. Uh, we're going to have a pretty uh, filled up lab uh, this week. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, some of the grain quality things we read about in Chapter 3. I'm going to do some moisture testing on some corn. And then we're going to also set up the new ethanol training simulator. Uh, real excited about this. Uh, it's like a flight simulator for running a corn ethanol facility. These are the s same screenshots that the operators are running at an ethanol facility. And I think you're going to find uh, that it's a lot of fun. In your student workbook for the ethanol training simulator, uh, we are going to try and complete uh, the following lab job numbers uh, 0010 through 0017 and also 0050. Um, it, it looks a little daunting, but I think we can work through it. It's, it's basically log in, uh, start, starting the council manager, using the help sections, uh, overview of the D3 council. Uh, council Manager, the PVN uh, menu bar, working with faceplates, uh, changing values, and uh, the process flow diagram. And so it's uh, really just going to give you an opportunity to get used to the system and make some changes in the system, change some values, and I think you'll see how well this ties in with some of the things we talked about in Unit 3. We'll also talk a little bit about uh, grain uh, quality. Uh, we'll talk about percent damage, insects, foreign material, mold, test weight, and moisture, and how important all of these checks are to make sure the quality of the grain coming into the ethanol facility meets our specifications. And then we're going to actually run uh, a sample on a moisture meter. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, we're going to have a moisture meter. You can see there we've got a cap. Uh, display area, on off switch, a test button. Uh, we've got a memory button down on the bottom so we can store uh, our values to get an average and we'll be using corn as our test grain. When you take the cap off you're going to see a empty cell and then um, we're going to want to make sure that's all cleaned out. Going to have a cap uh, with a pressure indicator on the top. So the first thing you want to do is make sure the cell is clean. So it's just a visual inspection. I'm going to turn the tester on. Um, use the select button to choose the corn. And in the test that we'll be running, we'll be using corn, uh, low moisture. And that'll be easy to set up. Then uh, you fill the cell with corn uh, level to the top of the moisture meter. Uh, for the initial test, uh, we want to kind of let the machine kind of calibrate for temperature, so let it set for 30 seconds. And then we're going to put the cap on and tighten it until the pressure indicator is flush with the top of the cap. So you'll s uh, screw that down uh, and tight until that pressure indicator is level with the top of that cap. Then you push the test button. Uh, the unit will uh, run a few, t uh, take a few seconds to run the test and it'll come up. It'll tell you what the moisture, temperature, etc. is of the grain. Uh, and then you'll want to hit the memory button to store that. Uh, it's, it's a good idea when you're taking uh, moisture to run at least uh, three samples to get a good average for an accurate moisture. Well, that's really it uh, for this week's lab. Uh, look forward to it, and if you have any questions, uh, please bring them to the lab. Thank you.